hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the another video in today's video i'm going to talk about ios 18.2.1 so i will talk about few things i will talk about what we can expect from 18.2.1 in terms of features i will also talk about the regarding the release date of ios 18.2.1 and at the end of this video i will give a look to your comments and i will try to answer your comments so without any further delay let's jump into this video also timestamps are over here you can switch between the sections if you want to you can easily jump between the different sections now without wasting any other second let's begin and let's begin with what we can expect in terms of features or changes from ios 18.2.1 we're talking about it it is a double dot update it is 18.2.1 which means double dot update is not going to bring any sort of big features because double date is never about features it is always about security patches it is always about bug fixes and other stuff so if you are expecting any sort of big feature from 18.2.1 don't expect it it is not coming 18.2.1 is mainly going to fix hopefully some different sort of bugs the number one bug that many people are facing is regarding the touch response i show you that response in my previous videos you can check out my dad videos also many people are facing issues with the battery life although i'm not facing any sort of that issue but many people are facing battery life issues on the ios 18.2 hopefully 2.1 18.2.1 will fix those issues it will fix battery rating i'm enjoying the battery over here i'm by the way i'm on this device i'm running 18.3 beta 1 for now so these are the things that ios 18.2.1 is supposed to fix supposed to bring i hope apple address these issues let's see and i'm hoping it is coming very soon now let's move to the second section of this video and that is about the release date of ios 18.2.1 now before talking about the release date i want to show you the bit of a history about the ios 15 ios 16 and ios 17 so i will go to my browser over here and i will start with the ios 15 so going into the history like it is like three years ago back in 2022 um i was 15.2.1 was released on 12th of january as you can see and it is it was right after almost one month of 15.2 as you can see it is 20 13th of december and 15.2.1 came on 12th of january now if i go to the 16 i was 16 over here and go on the top let me just go to the release history now over here as you can see there was no 16.2.1 there was 16.2 then after that we got 16.3 like one month and 10 days difference is there between these two releases as you can see now let me go to the ios 17 over here let me go to the ios 17 over here now as you can see um let me go to the release history over here 17.2.1 2.1 was released on 19th of december and it was like right after a week of 17.2 there could be like important things so far but as we know we already passed 19th of december now if i look over the history and what i basically draws is we can expect to get ios 18.2.1 over here now this gap of three weeks is because of winter holidays winter holiday was going on but now they are over and there were rumors that apple was already working on 18.2.1 before winter holidays so i'm expecting that the work on 18.2.1 will complete will must be completed by the 5th of january and we can expect to see the release over here around 6th of january or on 7th of january if not this week then 13th of january is going to be a final way but for me hopes are very high for 6th of january by the way i did a full-fledged video 
in which I talk about the iOS 80.3 features, release date, a lot more. Go to my channel and check out that video. So this is all about the release of iOS 18.2.1. Now, let's go to YouTube Studio and let's see what is going on with you guys. Let's see your comments and let's let answer them. Okay. Okay, this was um, iOS 18.2 running till now volume automatically increasing and decreasing not fixed. Well, I haven't faced this issue at all on any other iOS 18 update. If you guys are also facing this issue, let me know in the comment section below. But I'm hoping um, this will be fixed by 18.2.1 if it is going on. I'm not sure, but I haven't faced this issue at all. Cool, can't wait for 18.3. I'm also waiting for 18.3. Can I use Samsung 25 watt charger? Will it be an issue? Of course, it will be an issue. It will not be a big issue, but somehow it will definitely hurt your battery health. So it is always better to use original Apple charger. But if original Apple chargers are way expensive, you can go for third party chargers that are MFI. MFI are made for iPhone. So any charger that is made for iPhone or is for famous brand, like for example, I use this charger. This charger is from Anchor. By the way, this video is not sponsored by Anchor. If they want to sponsor it, it will be great. But for now, it is not sponsored by Apple. This is IQ charger by Anchor. I use this charger for both of my iPhones and it is working really, really good. And yeah, so chargers from famous brands can be your choice. Don't go for such chargers. Um, what phones, what, what phone are you using? I'm using iPhone 14 over here and for shooting over here, this is the iPhone 10 S. How to shake the text? Please tell me how to shake. Okay. Watch the video till the end. There is a option of shake shaking text too. I hope they fix the battery drainage for BIOS 18.2. Um, on 18.3, battery life so far is not the best. I'm using beta one. Definitely, beta one will not give you the best one. I'm waiting for the beta two, and I will test that out. But I'm hoping that 18.2.1 will fix battery draining but when the update will out i will definitely make a video about that can you make a video on how to make super dark mode on iphone okay i will try to bring a video regarding this and they're laughing because that's literally a normal thing haha <laughs> i have tattoo in infinix okay in this video where i shared some tips and tricks regarding iphone keyboard the purpose of this video is not like this is something new it was there for like so many years i'm just sharing it because many people don't know and what is in their iphone is so i'm just sharing it please don't use fake accent okay i will not use the fake accent this is like your accent okay so there are some other comments just drop the comments I will like answer more videos. But so far, this is all from this video. What are your thoughts about this? Let me know in the comments below. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace out.